First things first, your immediate reaction to yesterday's game? Um, I think it was a game of two halves, as most people probably witnessed at the, at the Tercentenary. Um, we defended pretty well in the first half, but we let ourselves down by committing a few silly errors that led to, to the three goals, which were all really avoidable. Um, we then, towards the end of the first half, took our press a bit higher up the court and, and continued that into the second half and it, it played into our hands where we were, tr we were winning the ball further up, we were a bit more composed. I think the first instances of the game, the nerves crept into our play a little bit and that had an effect on, on the first 10 minutes. But ultimately, I'm, I'm super happy with the performance and, and really proud of the girls, the way that they reacted. I mean, going in 3-0 half time is, is not easy and they came out, they took everything on board that we said and they changed and, and the game plan in the second half worked well and we had them under pressure for the majority of that second half. Well, you said there um, a few individual errors and obviously nerves, which is understandable. Um, speaking about what went right, and you said the second half in particular, is there anything you'd highlight? Um, I think our transitions into counter-attack were very good. Um, our set pieces were, were very good. Um, also, the way that we pressed man for man all over the court, even when they, in most cases in the second half, were bringing out their goalkeeper to help them get out, we sat, so we sat back, we allowed the goalkeeper to receive and then we went to press again and we won the ball back again. And, and that's highlighting the amount of chances that we created in the second half, which we, we matched them um, statistically, which is against a nation like the size of Slovakia and the ranking that they've got within futsal is, is, a, is a major achievement, I think. And now we've got a good positive bounce going into today's game. Well, speaking of today's game, what are you hoping to see from your squad? More of the same, like I've said, the, the non-negotiables are work ethic and desire and passion and I think anyone that saw the game yesterday would have, would have witnessed that. So um, we go into the game maybe with a slightly different game plan based on the opposition that we're playing against, but the, those, those key elements need to be there from the beginning. And now those nerves I'm, I'm sure are out of the way of the first game and we'll go in, in from the first minute today and, and make, make ourselves proud and, and give a performance that is hopefully going to, to get us a result. Perfect. And lastly, speak to us a bit about the crowd. First batch and uh, the Testimonial Hall was packed. How much of an impact did that have on, on, on your team? Yeah, I know. It makes a massive impact. I mean, the crowd is, is essentially the sixth player for us on the court. And, and that is a, a massive advantage. When you're playing at home, you need the crowd to come out and get behind you. And, and I think they, they reacted to that yesterday. And the girls maybe were a little bit overwhelmed at the beginning and then they settled into it. and. And we definitely need the support of the, of the crowd again, not just today, but the game on Saturday as well. So um, get behind them because it, it does give us that extra boost. It does, it does help them in those key moments. So I'm hoping we can give them a result today.